name is Aztec Psyche and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And I am excited to share with you today some amazing tips and hacks, whatever you want to call it, that I've been using to cultivate and bring forth abundance and wealth into my life. I'm so excited to share these tips with you because they have completely transformed my relationship with money, um, abundance, and scarcity mindset. So if you're ready to unlock the secrets to manifesting abundance in your life and cultivating the life that you desire, do not click away from this video because I'm going to share with you very clear, to the point, tips, even frequencies that I use on a daily basis to bring forth and unlock and unblock <laughs> everything that I want in this life. So I really hope that you're ready to unlock the secrets. One of the major secrets that I use for unlocking wealth and abundance in my life, which is wealth DNA codes. Now these DNA codes, I did pay for. I paid $37 for these codes and I'm giving them to you for free because sharing is caring. Like I am sharing the wealth, I don't give a fuck. Like, I really need you to understand that I truly want you to win in life. This is, this. I do this, I do this with my best friends, my close friends. As soon as I learn something that works after trying it and succeeding with it, I immediately send it to my friends. Do they always use it? No. I really want to expand my reach and my, I don't, I don't know what to say, I guess my effort and um, being able to help people that want to be helped. It, I, yeah, that's what I want to say. I want to really be able to expand the wealth and share it with people who are seeking the help and actually want it. Because a lot of times when I share it with my loved ones, they're not in a space to receive it. You know, they're on their own journey, going through their own thing. And I'm, I'm the type of person that, that hyper evolves and hyper learns and just I'm very, I'm very spirit based. I'm a very spirit based person. So a lot of things that I do are all spiritual practices and a lot of people don't always choose the spiritual path first. So with that being said, if you're here, it's because I know that you want to be here and I'm so happy that you are because I want to share it with you. I want you to win and I want us to have the life that we desire, like truly. My journey with abundance outside of financial abundance was not always there. Um, in, in my previous video, my first video I ever dropped on YouTube, I talk about a, a serious condition that I had called achalasia or achalasia as some people call it in a medical field. and that condition completely repaired my dna and transformed me in such a way that um i'm grateful for but also i can never go back to the person that i once was i could never go back to that lower frequency being and thinking um there's a lot of foods that i can no longer eat and there's just a lot of things that i spiritually cannot tolerate because i was put in such a space where i couldn't eat heavy foods i couldn't drink alcohol a lot of things that i was doing that were harming my body mind and soul were stripped away from me and i was put on a very very different path I like before before I had that condition I, I didn't even eat salads I didn't like salad I didn't eat vegetables I ate fruit occasionally but I'll buy my fruit from Walmart and yes if you buy your fruit from Walmart that is a problem like it's not real you know like I was basically feeding my body with nothing but fake substances and processed materials and until it gave out on me needless to say after my condition, 
I couldn't eat anything. So it's like my body detoxed everything that I ever eaten in my life in 21 years, literally like from zero to 21, I was completely purged and I was starting over with just spirit and I can hear spirit and I can see spirit and I was able to connect with such beautiful beings who taught me about healing and remedies and God and consciousness and like expanded my mind in such a way that I can never go back. And <clears throat> I struggle with those limiting beliefs. Even in my spiritual awakening, there were a lot of limiting beliefs that I had held so closely to me that I still am releasing, but I am much further along than I've ever been. And when I discovered the power of harnessing energy, when I realized that <laughs> we live on an energy-based planet and that we are here to master manipulation of energy or master energy in itself, it really changed everything for me, you know, like from the music that I listened to, to the people that I hung around, like that was just, I had no, I was already a no nonsense person, but after that point, my toleration level was so low for low frequency stuff. Like I just would not tolerate it. I would walk out of a room. I would leave the venue, you know, I would, put in my headphones if someone was playing a song that I didn't like, like, especially songs that were blatantly talking about raping or statutory rape or grooming women. Like there were just such things that my spirit could not tolerate or listen to any longer. So along my journey, of course, I learned how to manifest way before manifesting became this fad. Um, I really learned how to call forth the things that I wanted in life and sit in that energy and let it be. But a huge part of manifestation for me that I needed to learn was it wasn't always about matching the frequency. It was about learning to remove all of the things that were blocking my manifestations because everything that you want in life is already yours the problem is we learn bad habits and ways of thinking and being that block what we're supposed to have and that you can call that shadow work root work whatever you want to call it but i know for a fact that a part of me finding the wealth dna that i feel like it was the last key for me to unblocking the financial abundance that I desired. You know, I was raising a household with a mother that definitely, you know, she has scarcity mindset and she struggled a lot. So she put a lot of that fear of like not having money into me. And I grew up, you know, paycheck to paycheck. I was working at 16. Like, you know, I just was because that's what you do, right? That's what I that's what I had to do. I had to provide. I had to make sure that I can pay for things because of the fear of not having. And that fear has had me work in two, three jobs. That fear had me like you know, kind of fucking people over because in my mind money was more important than having successful relationships or friendships, which is not true. Like the wealth is in the network. The wealth is in the community. It's not in just doing it all by yourself and making the most money. I'm not gonna talk that much about all of that. So through all of my research and experience, I finally discovered wealth DNA codes. Now I've listened to like frequencies on YouTube and you know, uh, DNA repair codes and 999 frequencies and 527 frequencies and 432 frequencies. I've listened to all of them, um, but this is something different. Um, it is so different and monumental that I just can't gatekeep. Like I need to share this with you. They're incredible, truly. 
Um, and it's not, it doesn't take much of your time. You just listen to them. They're seven minutes long each. And you listen to them once a day, preferably when you wake up. Um, the website that I bought it from was adamant about listening to it the moment you wake up. And I think the reason is because the first five minutes in your waking state, your mind is still in theta mode. And theta is your creative, it's like the creative genius, it's the most, uh, it's the highest frequency that you can be vibrating in, in your when you're asleep or awake, in between sleep and awakeness. And um, I agree to try your best to do it within the first five minutes of waking up. If you don't do it within the first five minutes of waking up, please don't beat yourself up. There's been plenty of times where I literally started my day, got dressed, and then while I was in a car, put my headphones on and listened to it as I drove to work and received a phone call literally offering me money right after the right after the frequency ended. So I like to think of these codes as a roadmap of rewriting your success uh, in life, um, activating your abundance frequency, and attracting wealth effortlessly, like truly. Um, and that's because I, in my opinion, it unlocks, it unblocks everything that's been stagnant in your frequency like it's so it's just so powerful like I, I feel like I'm gushing but like I'm just I just truly truly I use it like I use it all the time like you know sometimes I use it I do the whole session and then I'll go about like two to three weeks without doing it and then once I start to feel like things are kind of going I'm not gonna say bad, but when I feel more opposition uh, coming my way and more obstacles than I'm used to facing, I'll start listening to it again. And guess what? Like every the world, it will just clear out again. Like it would just, it's just like the world opens up to you, the abundance opens up to you, the wealth opens up to you. And I don't know if it's because of listening to it, whatever it does to your frequency internally it it's shown outwardly like it is it truly is it's almost it's almost the same um thing that happens with chanting when you chant regularly i don't know if people are part of sgi but it's the same as when you chant or when you pray like when you put that vibration of you know abundance and gratitude and thankfulness in the start of your day, everything just opens up to you. Uh, but the good thing about this is you don't have to say anything. You can literally fall asleep to it. Like there's been plenty of times that I'll wake up at like 6.30 because I'm an early riser and put it, put my headphones on, like click it, play it, and then I'll fall asleep listening to it. But my day will be so much better. It just feels like amazing things happen to me left and right and I'm just looking in awe um, I will say that the third day there's always something it depends on your karma too I do need to note this if you have uncleared karma if you have things that aren't worked through that you know you haven't been that good to people I will say um, when you listen to it on the third day, I noticed that there's bizarre, like bizarre shit happens within the first 20 minutes to 60 minutes of your day that you're like, is this working? Like, why is this happening? Like, but the thing is, it's always a near miss. Like, for example, one of them was like a five car pile up outside of my apartment on the third day. That made me late to work and I was like what like I'm, I thought the road's supposed to be clearer but you know everything happens for a reason 
There was a reason I wasn't supposed to be at work the time that I wanted to get to work. There was a person that I wasn't supposed to run into. Like everything happens for a reason, but it it's just I, I just it's undescribable. It's so it's such bizarre things that it makes you wonder like is this working? And trust me, it is. It's literally clearing the karma. It's clearing the space so that you can attract everything you want. I really just want to drive home that this is more than about financial abundance. Will it bring in financial abundance? Yes, especially if you focus on financial abundance each time you hear the frequency. Be as exact about the amount of money as possible. And if you need affirmations, you can click the you can click my video about my 13 day challenge, affirmation challenge. Um, but this video, I just wanted to explain to you what wealth DNA codes are. I hope I did that. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I hope I did that. I, uh, you know, did the best I could. Um, I didn't get much information when I bought it. So I just knew that I, my spirit said, you need to get this. Together, we can create such a huge ripple effect of wealth and abundance, and we can create this huge network of people who are harnessing their power at the same time where we come together and we commune and we share our tips, we share our tricks, we share our blessings. Um, it's always good to celebrate your blessings. I know that a lot of people say keep them to yourself, but I just say for who? Like, it's you're supposed to celebrate your blessings. You're supposed to give gratitude for your blessings. And when you can, expand and share with others. So without further ado, this is, this is how this is going to work, okay? So since you're supposed to listen to each individually... I, in this video, I'm only going to put the first one. Tomorrow, I will put the second one. And the next day, I'll put the third one. So you will have to come back to listen to all eight. And yes, you only can listen to one at a time. This is very important. You do not listen to them all at once because the frequency is supposed to radiate through you that day and unblock a specific chakra each day the reason that there are eight well dna codes is because of course you know the seven chakras right but above the crown there is an eight shock chakras we have the root we have the sacral we have the solar plexus we have the heart we have the throat we have the third eye and we have the crown but the eighth chakra is a portal between the immortal world and your earthbound body. And it is called the soul chakra or the soul star. Um, and the last frequency unlocks that for you. I cannot express enough how powerful this wealth DNA is. Like, it's up to you to decide if you want to do it. I'm not going to force your hand. I am going to leave it here and you do the rest. It's up to you if you want to listen. But I do, for the people who choose to listen, I am so excited for you and a journey that you're about to be on. And I'm so happy for you for choosing yourself and showing up for yourself every day. All right, so I'm just gonna, the next thing that you're gonna hear after I wrap this up is gonna be your first <laughs> wealth DNA code, which will unlock your root chakra. As I said before, I do recommend that you listen to it in the beginning of the day before you start actually interacting with people Please, if you can, listen to it within the first five minutes of waking up. And yes, 
please listen to it with headphones in to have the best results. Um, also, if you want to listen to it more than once, you can. Uh, it's a it's such a beautiful sound, so you might want to. And I just just in case you do want to, I'm gonna let I'm gonna put it twice. So I'm going to put the frequency, each frequency um, on a loop twice. That's the most that I'm going to do it. And if you want to like replay it, that's up to you. But without further ado, thank you for watching this video and enjoy your Welt DNA upgrade.